Marhaba ya shabab, which means hello and welcome in Arabic, which you might already know from the previous video. In the previous video, you saw how I was um, setting up the project with all the dependencies and so on and so forth. And now the project should be hopefully built. Just to let you know, I added two more dependencies. Um, these dependencies, one for Moke and Asserche, these dependencies will come in handy when we're doing our unit tests after we did the actual implementation of the Crowd API and of course we will te test the repository layer and service layer and for the controller we will write integration tests. And yeah, um, I will of course provide you with the dependencies um, in the description below where you also find the link to the GitHub repository below. And if you do some changes in the dependency, you will, should see here some gear icon, or otherwise you can just click here on Gradle, and Gradle will build the project for you. As you can see, there are some things running, and here we have our build tab, and yeah. And yeah. Um, to make sure that everything works, here you can see I just added a print line statement, and yeah, just to test if everything works properly. Just, just start the test. And just to let you know, I want to print um, after the, the backend is built um, to print Marhaba Ya Shabab, which I said before, which means hello and welcome. How, and that's how you pronounce it actually in Latin letters, with, with help of Latin letters. And here's the part how you would write it in Arabic. This means marhaba, this means ya shabab, which is an Arabic way to, to call someone. Ya habibi, ya wallad, ya ahmad, you know, just to get someone's attention. The ya, it's not necessary. And shabab means people. It's a mix of people when there's a mix of male and female persons. And as you can see, um, everything works properly and you see all the log statements you see what kind of Java version we are using and where my project is uh, locally um, stored on my device and yeah as you can see we have no we have no um, profiles we which later we will use a development profile with the help of the application file which will be later transferred to a YAML file and so that you can do some local development and do not have to push stuff in your production database. Uh, as you can see the application is running on port 8080 which is using Tomcat uh, as a web server. Uh, yeah, everything should work properly. Here we have our statement or print statement, marhaba ya shabab. Now let's just test things out. Here's, by the way, you see my uh, written, the written part of this tutorial. And now I just want to use AD, AD. And we get the default <laughs> white label error page from Spring Boot, which indicates that everything is working properly. Okay, and you, as you can see, when we called um, 8080, um, you saw also that everything works properly because here you see um, that data got served to us with the servlet. And yeah, everything works now properly. And I would say we can start with the next video to the actual development. We will start with the uh, task class, which will be our ORM or object relationship mapping, which will map to a table in our database. And yeah, so I would say see you in the next um, tutorial, in the next video. And if you have some things that I should uh, improve or what you want to say what I'm doing good in this or in this tutorial series, please write me some comments, like and subscribe. And yes, yeah, see you in the next video. Ilalika.